Hi everyone, this is Mo Rashid from Sky Driving Team UK, London, Great Britain. I'm here again with you to bring a one more educational video to help as many people as like you to drive safely and pass UK driving theory and practical test first time. Today mock test video is a uh, 50 top questions which I like to bring it to you to what's to you to do the mock test together. In this uh, 50 questions, you will come across uh, lots of questions which will be based on uh, the documentation which you need to produce yourself to get MOT, uh, road insurance, same time the V5 document which is a registration keeper's responsibility, pedestrian crossings which is pelican, puffin, token and uh, same time a zebra as well and there will be lots of situation where you're approaching to identify the signs which is a red triangle a round circle with a red color roundabouts pedestrian crossings with the approaching to uh they are waiting to cross what are the lights are signals traffic lights box junctions uh similar places which you're approaching and uh connecting with the dual carriageways, your vehicle itself, the tires, thread depth, the seat belts, the signals, the hand signals. Similar way there will be a situation which is uh, you need to deal with it when you're approaching with the place where it's a uh, lorries or different type of vehicles, speed limit, stopping distance. The lots of lots of things are covering in this mock test. This is one of the important mock tests which I have uh, come across and I'm uploading it for you guys to prepare and pass first time. Currently pass rate for the UK theory and the practical test is lowest i have ever come across i'm not scaring you but i'm telling you very truth but i am telling you that honestly it is very very easy to pass theory and the car practical test as well unfortunately people fail because they rush they're not very prepared these my videos uh, which i'm downloading on a regular basis to help as many as people as you can read about myself that i'm on a mission to help as many people as possible uh, I've been driving instructor since 2003 in London region. I help lots of people to pass through this channel. I like to take the opportunity to help as many people as possible like you. Now in this mock test there will be a questions and there will be a four multiple choice answers which you can choose them. When you read the questions please read the question and answer them based on the question they're asking you. There will be a two answers which is very similar to the answer which they ask you but there will be a one correct answers which you need to choose. I will go through with you one by one and then after the 50 completing the questions uh, there will be a complete result you will see a progress in this mock test a particular in this mock test i'll come across three very important questions which i have answered them purposely wrong because at the end of this mock test you will get it a correct answer which i want you to memorize it please do memorize it because i have a feeling that you will come across these three important questions in a real uh, test on a dvsa test center same time please like this video share this video click on a subscribe button and click on a bell icon so you receive my videos on a regularly which i'm uploading on uh, regularly uh, almost every day i do upload and do share your comments if you like to so i can make any videos which will help you to get yourself on the driving uh, and passing this test first time Let's go towards today's mock test. In order to supervise a learner driver, you need to have held a full driving license for the same category of vehicle for at least three years. What other requirement must you meet? To have a car with dual controls. To be at least 21 years old. To hold an advanced driving certificate. To be an approved driving instructor.
Are passengers allowed to ride in a caravan that's being towed? Only if all the seats in the towing vehicle are full. No, not at any time. Only if a stabilizer is fitted. Yes, if they are over 14. Who may use toucan crossings? Motorcyclists and pedestrians. Motorcyclists and cyclists. Cyclists and pedestrians. Only cyclists. You're traveling along this road. How should you pass the cyclist? Keep close to them as you pass. Change down one gear before you pass. Leave them plenty of room as you pass. Sound your horn as you pass. How should you give an arm signal to turn left? What does it mean if the signs at a bus lane show no times of operation? The lane is in operation 24 hours a day. The lane is only in operation at peak times. The lane isn't in operation. The lane is only in operation in daylight hours. Why should you make sure that your indicators are cancelled after turning at a junction? To avoid dazzling other road users. To avoid flattening the battery. To avoid damage to the indicator relay. To avoid misleading other road users. How should you drive when you're driving along a road that has road humps? Always keep to the maximum legal speed. Drive slowly at school times only. Maintain a reduced speed throughout. Accelerate quickly between the humps. What does this sign mean? Route for trams. Route for buses. Give way to trams. Give way to buses. What does this sign mean? Approaching traffic passes you on both sides. Pass either side to get to the same destination. Give way to oncoming vehicles. Turn off at the next available junction. You're driving past parked cars. What should you do if you see a bicycle wheel sticking out between the cars? Slow down and be prepared to stop for a cyclist. Brake sharply and flash your headlights. Accelerate past quickly and sound your horn. Slow down and wave the cyclist across. Which sign means there will be two-way traffic crossing your route ahead? You're waiting to turn right out of a minor road. It's clear to the left but a lorry is coming from the right. Why should you wait, even if you have enough time to turn? Anything overtaking the lorry will be hidden from view. The lorry could suddenly speed up. The lorry might be slowing down. The load on the lorry might be unstable.
How should you drive in areas with traffic calming measures? At the speed limit. With headlights on dip beam. In the center of the road. At a reduced speed. What does this traffic sign mean? Two-way traffic. No overtaking allowed. Give priority to oncoming traffic. One-way traffic only. You want to turn right from a main road into a side road. What should you do just before turning? Select first gear. Check for traffic overtaking on your right. Stop and set the parking brake. Cancel your right turn signal. You're driving with your front fog lights switched on. What should you do if the fog has cleared? Flash them to warn oncoming traffic that it's foggy. Switch them off as long as visibility remains good. Leave them on if other drivers have their lights on. Drive with them on instead of your headlights. What should you be prepared to do in this situation? Report the driver to the police. Slow down and give way. Sound your horn and continue. Squeeze through the gap. Where's the safest place to park your vehicle at night? In a garage. Near a red route. On a busy road. In a quiet car park. You're on a smart motorway. What does it mean when a red cross is displayed above the hard shoulder? You shouldn't travel in this lane. Use this lane as a running lane. This lane can be used if you need a rest. Pull up in this lane to answer your mobile phone. What's the most important reason for having a properly adjusted head restraint? To help you relax. To help you avoid neck injury. To make you more comfortable. To help you maintain your driving position. You're looking for somewhere to safely park your vehicle. Where would you choose to park? At or near a bus stop. Near the brow of a hill. In a designated parking space. On the approach to a level crossing. Why should you allow extra room while overtaking a motorcyclist on a windy day? The rider may be blown in front of you. The rider may be traveling faster than normal. The rider may turn off suddenly to get out of the wind. The rider may stop suddenly. You're about to reverse into a side road. What should you do if a pedestrian is waiting to cross behind your car? Sound your horn to warn the pedestrian. Wave to the pedestrian to stop. Reverse before the pedestrian starts to cross. Give way to the pedestrian.
What's most likely to distract you while you're driving? Using the demisters. Using a mobile phone. Using the mirrors. Using the windscreen wipers. Which vehicles are least likely to be affected by side wind? Cyclists High-sided vehicles Cars Motorcyclists Why should you reduce your speed when you're driving or riding in fog? You'll be dazzled by other headlights it's more difficult to see what's ahead. The brakes don't work as well. The engine will take longer to warm up. What does this sign mean? Cycles aren't allowed. Cycle in single file. Cyclists must dismount. Cycle route ahead. A police officer asks to see your documents. You don't have them with you. How many days do you have to produce them at a police station? Five days. 14 days 21 days 7 days Who's legally responsible for ensuring that a vehicle registration certificate, V5C, is updated? The registered vehicle keeper The vehicle manufacturer the licensing authority, your insurance company. What does it mean if your insurance policy has an excess of 500 pounds? You'll have to pay the first 500 pounds of the cost of any claim. You'll be paid £500 if you don't claim within one year. Your vehicle is insured for a value of £500 if it's stolen. The insurance company will pay the first £500 of any claim. What should you do when you move off from behind a parked car? Look around before moving off. Use the exterior mirrors only. Give a signal after moving off. Look around after moving off. You've stopped at a pelican crossing. What should you do if a disabled person is crossing slowly in front of you and the lights change to green? Sound your horn. Drive in front of them. Wait for them to finish crossing. Edge forward slowly. What does this signal from a police officer mean to oncoming traffic? Turn left. Stop. Turn right. Go ahead. What shape is a stop sign? What's the legal minimum tread depth for tires on your trailer or caravan? 1.6 mm 
2.6 mm 2 mm 1 mm What color are the reflective studs between the lanes on a motorway? Red White Amber Green What does it mean if you see this signal on the motorway? All vehicles use the hard shoulder. Leave the motorway at the next exit. Sharp bend to the left ahead. Stop, all lanes ahead closed. Why should you use your mirrors when you see a hazard ahead? Because you'll need to accelerate out of danger. Because you'll need to brake sharply and stop to assess how your actions will affect the traffic behind to check what's happening on the road ahead you're driving in busy traffic you want to pull up just after a junction on the left when should you signal well before you reach the junction just before you reach the junction as you're passing or just after the junction it would be better not to signal at all what must you do at this junction stop beyond the line at a point where you can see clearly Stop only if there's traffic on the main road. Stop only if you're turning right. Stop behind the line, then edge forward to see clearly. Which lights should you use when you're driving in a tunnel? Dipped headlights. Rear fog lights Front spotlights Side lights How will a roof rack affect your car? Fuel consumption will increase The car will accelerate faster The engine will use more oil There will be less wind noise Why should drivers be more careful on roads where trams also operate? Because trams don't have lights. Because trams can't steer to avoid obstructions. Because trams don't have a horn. Because trams can't stop for cars. Why should you never wave people across at pedestrian crossings? Another vehicle may be coming. It's safer for you to carry on. They may not be looking. They may not be ready to cross. Rules of the road. John is traveling back to university at the maximum permitted speed on a dual carriageway. He notices a clearway sign by the side of the road. At the end of the dual carriageway, there's a roundabout, and he sees a cyclist who starts off in the left-hand lane and then turns right. John then turns into a one-way street and overtakes several slow-moving vehicles. Nearing the end of his journey, John can see the university in the distance. In the next road there is a school and John notices that a lollipop lady has stepped out and is displaying the stop sign towards him. 
What is the national speed limit for cars and motorcycles on a dual carriageway? 30 mph 60 mph 50 mph 70 mph On a clear way, John must not stop at any time when it is busy in the rush hour during daylight hours Which of the following are most likely to take an unusual course at roundabouts? Delivery vans Long vehicles Milk floats Estate cars Where may John overtake on a one-way street? On either the right or the left Overtaking is not allowed Only on the left-hand side Only on the right-hand side You must stop when signaled to do so by which of these? A cyclist A bus driver A pedestrian A police officer What does this sign mean? Approaching traffic passes you on both sides. Pass either side to get to the same destination. Give way to oncoming vehicles. Turn off at the next available junction. Which vehicles are least likely to be affected by side wind? Cyclists High-sided vehicles Cars Motorcyclists What does this signal from a police officer mean to oncoming traffic? Turn left Stop Turn right Go ahead Congratulations, all of you completed a 50 questions and all of you answered a 50 out of 50. Well done for that. Some of you found it a little bit difficult and trust me, after these 50 questions, all of yours, all of you, in every single of you, your knowledge has increased. And these are the questions which you have covered. They are quite hard and a bit tricky. Let's come towards to this uh, special uh, clip which I'm making and adding for you at the end of this video. Driving Test Success is a, one of the best app in the market in the UK Great Britain which you can download and practice official questions from the DVSA for the UK car theory test. In this you will have uh, activate the pass guarantee and you will get the money back if you are not successful. You have to follow the criteria they give you five mock tests consisting you have to pass. All the practice questions are here with the one click. Each category, so you go through it and completed all the questions one by one. After that, you can take a mock test, the same mock test which I have done it now, which you can see it. All those questions, they are exactly questions, including a scenario or situation based at the last five questions you will get in your actual theory day. 
same time the questions which you want to search afterwards if you think is uh, you need to practice more you can type in the questions will come up or while you are reading or are doing a mock test or a study and you can uh, save your questions which comes in a my question which will give you a whole list of the questions which you like to read again there will be those your questions and they will be there for you till you complete confident and release them from the my questions list then after that at the drop down you will see a progress monitor it will keep your progress individually for the every mock test the areas which you are reading like a practicing categories by categories will give you a feedback and tells you where you are stands underneath you will see a stopping distance every one of us finding a difficulty to find a stopping distance because this is the calculation a mathematic which you do hit or you can memorize it based on the speed 30 40 50 60 70 miles and a stopping distance in a rain or a dry condition as well same time it'll give you help and support this is the app i've been using since 2000 actually this is uh, i've been using since 2003 but it was in a cd room and i used to give it to my students to practice and pass uh i've been instructed since 2003 and, and this app uh it's changed it from cd rom to an app now everybody can download to into their android or ios phone uh i want to help all of you every single of you every single of the person in the uk great britain to pass the few test first time uh i cannot go and find everyone because i have a limited of time myself to teach everyone so please spread this word and share this video like this video subscribe and click on the channel and click on the bell icon so you will get the all new notifications or new videos regularly i'm making a video on a regular basis and you will get them i'm on a mission to help as many as people to pass theory and the practical test for the uk great britain so please help me and share this video see you in the next video till then you look after yourself and lord of this universe bless you with a lot of love happiness and success amen